I've been finding myself completely obsessed with hybrid cichlids and flower horns right now to be particular. Um, I got myself a big flower horn the other day. A bunch of you guys have been following my channel. There he is peeking out right there. And um, as a lot of you guys know, I like to put cichlids together even though every tutorial on the internet will tell you that flower horns can't have tank mates. Uh, I'm successfully doing it right now in this big six foot tank. And that's kind of what I'm known for on YouTube is putting fish together and making ways to have it work out. And I don't, yeah, as you can see the tank above here, um, they're splashing, I just got wet. But um, in this video, I wanna talk about taking care of flower horns and maybe some of my, put my spin on it of what I think is a little different from what the generic like internet uh, care guide will tell you essentially. So um, I, guess I'll, I guess I'll just dive right in here. Uh, sorry about, uh, this isn't gonna be anything too special where I show you like, uh, I only have my flower horn here right now. I have a bunch of other hybrid fish. Uh, I want to keep this simple though because a lot of like the other videos on YouTube are like super in-depth and I feel like they almost overdo it when talking about caring for, for flower horns because um, Okay, I gotta breathe Chris. I gotta breathe. I get super excited. You have to remember that flower horns uh, a lot of people, well, first of all, a lot of people hate them because they're hybrid fish and you either like, they either like them or you hate them because a lot of people hate them because they have the big hump on their head, also known as the cock, coke, however you want to pronounce it. Um, for whatever have you, you can either hate them or love them. I'm a fan of all the fish in the industry and especially tough cichlids. And guess what? These fish are extremely tough and that's why I love them. So. Um, the first things first, I will start out by saying that there's nothing overly special about these fish as far as taking care of them because they are originated from uh, four uh, other fish mainly. The blood parrot is one of them, the viha, um, the mitis, the red devil, and the trimac. So, and if you think about all four of those, four, five, six, there's there's some others, but these are all some of the toughest, toughest fish in the industry. And if, when they all combine to hybridize, you're not gonna get a weak fish from all those other fish. Those are all beast predator fish. So taking care of a flower horn is not going to be that difficult, guys. Um, I'm gonna flip the cam here. I feel like I'm just blabbing and you're only seeing my face. All right, so here's my flower horn. He is in a six foot tank right now. I went against the grain and put him in a tank with tank mates. I know that sounds crazy, right? Uh, every guide you will read on the internet you'll never be, will tell you you'll never be able to keep flower horns with other fish, and that's just not completely true. But you have to keep an eye on them, and for sure, the, like the, the cichlids you put them with have to be able to hold down their own. Like in this tank, I have some Acaras, Severums, Green Texas, um, some geos, uh, I'm trying to think what else. And what is also key is I stacked it completely full of fish. You know, like if he can't concentrate on bullying one fish, uh, he's probably just, he's gonna get worn out because there's just so many fish to bully essentially. And what's also weird is uh, a lot of the guides on the internet also tell you like to keep them in smaller tanks and that they're, they seem happier in smaller tanks. I'm not really sure I believe this because if you think about all the fish these fish originated from, none of them are like that. So why would the flower horn be that way? So um, I, I compare it to like a Trimac, you know, like the bigger the tank, the better for these guys. Uh, maybe some of you will disagree with me on this. Um, it's said that they kind of stress out in big tanks like this, but I don't know. It's a tough argument, really. Like, I just know that if you look at all the fish that the flower horn originates from, uh, they're all pretty much the same platform as far as taking care of, and none of that funky stuff needs to probably take place with the flower horn. Like, um, the 30, the 30 gallon tank for a flower horn that's six inches long, that seems a bit odd to me. I'm just... I'm, I don't know. So I keep it basic, guys, with predator cichlids like this, they need a, uh, basically they need some room to move 
They need a good filtration. They need protein rich foods. Uh, this is all the basic cichlid care that I talk about in almost all the Central American, South American, and even a lot of the African stuff. So it's, don't make it harder than it is. Uh, I'm not telling you to go out and attempt to keep a flower horn with other fish. If you do it, make sure, if you attempt it, there's variables. I have other videos on this with predator fish like the flower horn. See, he's just swimming in there. It's been about a month now, and you can see he's just completely not bullying anything. Here's a Jack Dempsey, Green Texas, Severum, Black Convicts. Um, there's a Caras, even a Geo, Green Terrors. Uh, make sure if you're putting a flower horn with other fish, there's tons of decor, there's tons of hiding spots, pots. Um, maybe if he wants to call a corner his own, like he did over here, give him that room. And um, I don't know, guys, this, this isn't hard. I don't know why um, you, if you search flower horn on how to take care of them, it's really kind of deceiving. Like that's kind of why a lot of people get scared. And I mean, they got all these fancy flower horn foods as well. Like uh, whatever happened to like all the generic cichlid protein rich foods, like we all use for all these, for all the fish, the flower horn originated from. So even though this is a hybrid, it's nothing special as far as taking care of these fish. And it's this is kind of a rant. Uh, I don't know, it's overcomplicated. You don't need all these fancy $40 bags of food. Maybe if you're doing competitions where your flower horn is in a competition and you're worried about the coloration, uh, this is just simple fish keeping, guys. Look at all these beautiful fish that this flower horn is being kept with. And maybe, some of you are going to argue that that fish is going to mature and he's only like five inches long right now. And once he matures, I won't be able to keep him in here, but I highly doubt it because I'm keeping a cl his close, his close ancestor red devil here with other crazy predator like fish. It's just all about running with the fish's specific personality and adapting with it it may it may work out it may not enough hiding spots every time you do a water change uh re rescape the tank <sighs> to recap taking care of flower horns guys i know this is kind of repetitive but i, I just want to keep this super simple because it is simple uh get a decent sized tank you can start with the 30 if you want work your way up to a 75 don't listen to some of these weird guides. Like, uh, I think a lot of them are from Asia. Uh, no offense to anybody, but it seems like a lot of some weird stuff is going on with some of these articles. Uh, I would get a 75 gallon tank. Start from there. Uh, trial tank mates if you want. Uh, get a bunch of fish like to start if you're gonna do like two tank mates it's not gonna work you need a lot of fish and fish that hold down their own get a good filter if you're looking for a uh, cheap budget line beast of a filter get a sun sun 404 or two of them you know like they're cheap and as far as foods protein rich foods like I've been preaching um, cut up tilapia get some Hakari um, what's good have the pellets a staple because they have vitamins that the fish need insects worms um, It's really simple guys. Just Think of what these fish will get in natural habitat, but they don't have a natural habitat. They're hybrids. They're hybrids Oh my god. Yeah, I know it's not that complicated guys do your water changes um, Yeah, happy flower horn keeping so I just picked up another red devil mix i got two red taxis now um i'm i'm growing in love with these fish let's get some let's get a better view he's so beautiful all right guys i'm getting a little weird here uh the next video is going to be on tank size for flower horns it's going to be like kind of a rant video it's uh, i'm going to do two videos just because people have sent me tons and tons of questions on these and I gotta do the vids.